Hello, my name is Ken and to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a ender pearl stasis chamber for Minecraft Bedrock. As some of you might know, because you click on this video, these ones from Java Edition do not work. As you can see, this is just the one from Java Edition, just a bubble column. If you throw it straight, on, straight down, cannot move my mouse anymore, it, the ender pearl actually moves forwards. This used to be a massive flaw, but luckily, there is a very, very simple solution. First, all you have to do, expand the entire column by one block in any direction. It just has to be one direction. And then place one water bucket at the top if that's all source blocks, so that also all become source blocks. Okay, never mind, I'm an idiot. There we go. Now you're probably wondering, why the heck do I have honey in my inventory? Aren't you just going to throw the pearls straight down and now it's gonna work? No. No. No, it couldn't be- no, it couldn't be that easy. Now, what you really need to do is place down two honey blocks just above, and then to center pearl in, get right into the center of the honey blocks to where you basically cannot see the line, and throw your under pearl straight down. Oh, right, I kind of need this higher up. I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, failing at my own creation. Oh, my God. Wow, I'm smart, aren't I? <laughs> Basically, all you need to do, get in the very center and throw the ender pearl directly in the middle of the honey blocks. I also use this mechanic with my gas cannon, and I love it. So now, it aligned it so perfectly so that it will stay in the center. And there you go. There's your ender pearl stasis chamber. That simple. And also, you don't actually need a tube this far down. You only need it like three blocks down. Here, I'll show you. Obviously, the pearl will keep bouncing, so let me just uh, fix that real quick. Let's make it hit a couple blocks here. Boom. <laughs> you can also scare someone with that. Just come up through the floor. That'd be actually really funny. In any case, as you can see, I believe this only also only works with three blocks in video testing here. But let's see. Yeah, in fact, wait a second. Can you only can you actually do this with one block? Whoa. Uh apparently not. But let's try it. Might as well see. Oop. <laughs> no, you cannot do it with one block down, but you definitely can with two, which is a bonus. So, if we just do something like, okay, I gotta shift. That, yeah, it works with only two blocks under. And look at that, there you go. You now have a ender pearl stasis chamber for Minecraft Bedrock. And we can get rid of all of this underneath. This is now not needed. Yeah, that is all you need to do. Really happy I figured this out because I really needed them. And I actually found out when I was just playing Skyblock. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make an Ender Pearl Stasis Chamber in like, my world. Like, I'm pretty sure like, I tested it before. So... You know, might as well see if it works now. It didn't, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to do some testing. I'm bored. So, yeah, that's how I came out with this. As Purple Dragon Nuke uh, said, and I believe it was his last video, um, don't, un don't underestimate the power of a redstoner's boredom. Or maybe that was a super fast crafting table. I can't remember. <laughs> in any case, that is how to make an enderpearl stasis chamber in Minecraft Bedrock. Hope you enjoyed.